This video explains two additional odds and ends that you should know about before you take the park assessments in the subject of Algebra 1 this spring. The first topic involves algebraic proofs. Currently, you have this text frame with just about all the symbolic notation that you need. However, there is no set style of explaining or proving why something is true. Therefore, you need to determine which format works best for you. If you can write a paragraph proof of sentences that explain your steps, then you will be fine. Some, but not all, students prefer this method. Others prefer either a two-column proof or a flow-proof format. In Algebra 1, we primarily use a two-column proof format. In this text frame provided by Pearson for the park, you can write a proof that almost represents a two-column proof, and here's how. Let's say we were given this problem. We had to prove that x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals this expression here to the right. Before you begin to do the proof, explain to your grader the format that you are going to use. Since I prefer to use that two column format, I actually said the proof is in the following format. Statement, and then I put a semicolon, and then the reason afterwards. Statement, semicolon, reason dot dot dot. That way it explains to the grader how exactly you are explaining your thoughts for this problem. And then you can actually go through and explain the steps. And go through. Here's the original given statement. And then up oh, squaring means to multiply something by itself. That's what the definition of an exponent is. And then if you actually use the distributive property and multiply them, you would get this expression and then if you combine your like terms, you show that they are clearly equal. And that proved that the two equations were equivalent to one another, which was the goal of that question. So make sure when you are trying to prove something that you specify the format in which you are going to use. The final topic that I will be discussing in Algebra 1 is solving word problems. As you solve them, you might need to use scrap paper to draw and label pictures and that is its purpose in the testing room. In this frame, you can put in math symbols, you can put in equations, but you cannot draw a picture. So if you need to draw a picture to solve a word problem, do it on your scrap paper, show the work there, and then take your work and put it in to the text frame and explain what you did as you go through. So use the resources that are available to you. And these are the two odds and ends that you should know about prior to taking the Park Algebra 1 assessments within the next few months. I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that you have a great day.